In today's episode of Homestead How, our homestead gets hit with a blizzard. And we're approaching almost four months since we've taken over our beloved small town movie theater. And we're going to talk about what we learned from a business perspective that may be able to help you when running your own business. Besides the movie theater, we run an Airbnb vacation rental, a dog kennel, several YouTube channels, a video service, and some online marketing, amongst a few other things. And today we're going to share some advice and things that we've learned from running the movie theater that may be able to help you running your own business. Let's get started. So this week is Christmas and we're going to have a white winter Christmas for sure. We actually had negative 40 degree Fahrenheit weather with the wind chill. And this is our outdoor wood burner on our homestead. This is one of the first purchases we made and I really love this thing. I get so many questions. Just a quick rundown. This thing we put wood in, we burn the wood, there's water on top, the water gets pumped into our house and it runs through our furnace and it heats our house, also heats our Airbnb rental, also heats our workshop. So something like this is great if you have a large homestead with multiple different buildings to heat. And uh, we've been doing just that for several years now. We also have an indoor Amish cook stove as you can see here on this video. And we love this thing. And if I had a smaller house with just one home to heat, I'd probably have just this and not the outdoor wood burner as well. And it's been so cold out lately, just to be nice and cozy and comfortable, we've been running both of these. And we've been cooking quite a bit on this stove. I absolutely love this indoor Amish cook stove, and we're going to be doing some more videos on this one coming soon. Back at the theater, we changed the posters over. We're going to be playing Puss in Boots, which is an excellent animation. The triplets all watched it and gave it six thumbs up. But we got to head back to the homestead and get ready. We're closed down for the movie theater Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And we're having some family over. We pulled out the slicer and we're getting everything prepared. Last week I used this uh, slicer to help out our Amish friends and neighbors and cut up some ham and bacon for them. And I'm really liking this thing. It's called a Bestwood Slicer and cleans up pretty easily. And for Christmas, we cut up some ham, uh, two, two smaller pieces of ham, and a bunch of cheese and sausage. And made short work of it with the slicer for sure. It is Wednesday, 2.45, and we have a 4 o'clock showing of Puss in Boots, which is an earlier time than normal. I need to make sure it all works. We've got a new trailer for Knock at the Cabin by M. Night Shamimalai. So we're rushing to get everything ready. Jen's getting a popcorn blend, right Jen? Yep. So a few business lessons I wanted to share, some things that have helped me that hopefully could maybe help you as well. These helped me with the movie theater, but our other homestead businesses that we've talked about as well. And one of the biggest things is to focus on a business that you're going to be passionate about, something that you're super interested in. For example, our dog kennel. We love dogs. That's why we started a dog kennel. We're always interested in it. It's always fun seeing new dogs out there. Well, the same thing with the movie theater. Going to movies is one of my most favorite things to do, and I can't ever imagine myself getting bored of it, so we've definitely been passionate about the movie theater. Uh, the other advice I have is to find innovative ways to improve the business and make it more efficient. One of the things I did with the movie theater was I put everything on smart switches and smart bulbs. I changed every light in the movie theater which greatly reduced the electric bill and made things a lot easier so when a movie starts up it's all automated. An hour before the movie starts our butter machine will turn on, the heat will come on, the lights will come on and that has really really been helpful and um, reduced the cost, the utility costs. 
We wrote a history book. I'm really passionate about history and our theater dates back to 1859. So there's so much history there. Right now with technology, there's so much you can do. You can self-publish your own book, which is what I did for just a couple dollars a book. We can self-publish it and then we can sell it and use it to raise funds for the theater. And uh, we've been doing just that and that's been going very well. Finding different and unique ways to make money has also helped. For example, we've really pushed out our on-screen local advertisements for businesses. We've done a couple of them and that provides some great ongoing income for the theater while allowing us to keep the prices very fair at just $5 a ticket. So looking for innovative ways to drive income, other income streams has been something we've done with the movie theater as well. Under promise and over deliver, I think this is great business advice for any business. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. And if you under promise and over deliver, people are gonna be happy. People are gonna talk, they're gonna leave good reviews, you're gonna get good word of mouth. And we've been noticing that with the theater. We're slowly been growing and growing since we started back in September. And we're seeing uh, larger and larger attendance each day and people returning. So that's great to see. Um, under promise, over deliver is something I like to apply to each one of our businesses. So, How many tickets did you sell? 63. That was pretty good for a Wednesday at 4, isn't it? I think 4 o'clock might be our winner. It's a holiday. Though. People but have still. off of school. If you're interested in learning more about our homestead or our homestead businesses, be sure to subscribe and check out our channel. We've done a ton of videos on those. This video was a little bit shorter than our normal videos due to Christmas. So I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below. And next week we will have more from the movie theater and our homestead and our businesses. Thanks so much for watching.